is the new normal. It's never going backwards. It's part of a new plan. It's almost like you died and came back with new gravity. Like suddenly the gravity was lessened and you can do more things and it's forever. And so you cognize this. Dear ones, it has to be first of the five because you won't be able to do anything else unless you believe that this shift has has happened and it's real. The shift is dynamic. It continues to change. But like you turn a page and you're reading new words in a new novel, the page stays turned. You don't go back and read what happened before it. The page got glued to all the others before it, and you can't get back to it. You are now past the page turn, experiencing the new energy, and that is the new gravity, and you cognize it, believe that it's happening. Now, I keep saying this because there are those who aren't getting it. Because there's always that part of you that says, well, maybe it's not happening. <laughs> You've got to get past this one. Every waking moment is the new energy. And you're part of this. And that is why you were born at this time, dear one, old soul. Are you listening to me in the chair and all the places perhaps not in this room you wonder why you were born now you want to know why things are happening to you that need to happen to you now maybe it's so you believe there are some negative things in your mind that may be happening right now to you and you're wondering why me Let me say something gentle to you. You're so stubborn <laughs> that you're going to have to do something for yourself to realize that this is new. And when you do what you need to do for yourself and get past this hurdle, you'll realize there isn't anything you can't do. This is the way God works with humans. That's how much we love you. You know who I'm talking to? Get on with it, will you? Cognize this. That's number one. Number two is allowance of change. These are concepts. Oh, stubborn human being, get used to it. Things are changing, and they're going to change perhaps not in the direction you had planned. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Oh, singular human being with a singular purpose and a singular idea of who you are and what you should do. Get used to this. Allowance. Can you sit there and say this or something better? I allow growth. I allow consciousness change in me that may change my life in ways I never ever thought they would change. How afraid of, of this are you? The fear is about change. It's not about where it's going. It's just about the word itself. Change. So the second in this 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 five set is allowance of change. Now look at the numerology of these things. Number one is always new beginnings. That's easy. You got to believe. Number two often deals with duality. And duality really is the primary fear of change. You just don't want this thing to move off that center point that you're used to, do you? Between light and dark. The duality that you've been used to, that balance between light and dark, is comfortable. 
Now suddenly, spirit wants to push it a little so that you capture a little more light so that the darkness starts to diminish in your life and it's going to change everything. Do you allow it or not? Belief. Allowance. Allowance of change. From the other side of the veil, we look at you and we say, everything that you're going through is like breaking old habits. They're just habits. That's all they are. You're like someone who has superpowers. You can fly. This is a metaphor. And you walk on the earth knowing that everything before said you couldn't fly. And we're saying you can. But most of you won't. It's just too comfortable to walk around. <laughs> the metaphor is clear. Allowance of change. So the next three are more practical. But very difficult. With your belief intact, with that which is your allowance for things to change, your conquering of duality, you're now ready for one of the biggest steps. Number three, compassionate action. Everything you do, you do from a standpoint of compassion. You're going down the road and you're in your vehicle and somebody cuts you off and honks at you and they're an idiot and they're a fool. <laughs> How do you feel? Is it possible to take that scenario to a compassionate level? And the answer is yes. First of all, don't let it affect you. Because you're a compassionate person, the buttons of anger, frustration are disconnected to the point that all you can think about is that that person is having a bad day. So you back your speed off so that they have an allowance. You give them more space so that they'll feel better. There's no grudge you hold. You don't yell at them back. You have a compassionate action in everything you do. Things happen to you with other individuals that might have normally hurt your feelings because your life is unique and there are things that will hurt you perhaps in what people say or how they act or what they do or don't do or the disappointments that you would have with others around you. This is simply human. But what if, what if everything you do, everything you do comes from a compassionate soul who sees it all so differently? Dear ones, in a compassionate way, there is no one who can hurt your feelings ever because you know who you are and they're just having a bad day. Do you see what I'm saying? Compassionate action is coming from a compassionate heart no matter what. It is a position of strength. Now some of you listening to this in other lands right now need to hear this. It is not a weakness to be compassionate. The masters of this planet exuded compassion. The very ones that you may worship are about compassion. They were not weak. So whatever you've been told about a kind, compassionate person, you're going to have to rearrange your perception because that is strength. Compassion is strength. A balanced human being will not catch disease. Did you know that? A balanced human being will have that which you would call synchronicity. Others call it luck. Synchronicity. To be in the right place at the right time. 
to have the right thing.